Restrictions are slowly easing for vaccinated travelers, but that doesn't mean that flight crews are dealing with less disruptions. Already this year, there have been almost 400 unruly passenger incidents reported on U.S. flights. And both American Airlines and Frontier Airlines have had to divert flights just over the past week due to disruptive behavior from passengers. And the latest incident happened yesterday on an American Airlines flight bound for Washington, D.C. Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard joins us to explain what exactly happened in Hawker, you have props. Yeah, that's right. Uh, more props today. But I mean, weren't we just talking about an American Airlines jet that diverted to Albuquerque to offload a passenger? We have another one. This one happened on flight 1775, which was operating from Los Angeles to Washington National Airport. And that happened just yesterday. And according to posts that were on social media, witnesses noticed this passenger was behaving erratically from the get go. And that behavior escalated to them attempting to open the flight deck door and then a door to the cabin of the plane itself. So this was the video posted on Twitter, and it shows law enforcement on board the flight after it made that emergency landing in Kansas City. Now, the FBI was called out and took witness statements, and they say the suspect was taken into custody there at uh, Kansas City International. A passenger who saw it all happen, though, well, they explained that the flight attendants, they had to run and get their tools as quick as they could to restrain that out-of-control passenger. One of the flight attendants runs all the way to the back and grabs a coffee pot and runs up to the front. There's a man who's trying to get into the cockpit, trying to get into to where the pilot is, and then trying to get, and afterwards also tried to open the door to get out of the plane. Hawker, I heard you say coffee pot. So it sounds like these guys are in full defense mode here. As an experienced flight attendant yourself, you're trained for these type of things, and how are you trained to do whenever these things arise? When anything happens that could endanger the lives of the aircraft, people on board, the crew members, but especially people in the flight deck, our pilots who are flying the plane, we're pulling out all the stops. Mm -hmm. We're doing what's ever necessary. So you yeah, we props. have. Let's take a look no, at. We, we do. We have the you know the coffee pots, which which they pack they hurt. a punch. Yeah. yeah. They say the guy was bleeding. Uh, another thing we'll use is a seatbelt extender, and that's another thing we will use to restrain somebody. You can use it like tough cuffs, or you can, you know, use it as a weapon if you needed to. Uh, flight attendants will use hot water to, to put on somebody, but um, halon extinguishers, you name it, we have it in the cabin. But most importantly, use our, what's around you. Yeah. our people as well, you yeah. know, using our able-bodied passengers. But we're also talking about the TSA and how they help us. The TSA holds advanced flight member training uh, in large cities like Charlotte. We're one of those locations that will help those advanced training techniques uh, get into action with flight attendants. We featured them during the 9-11 anniversary pieces we aired back in 2021. And a lot of it is about close quarters and hand-to-hand -hand combat training. But something else that they really like to hit hard on is the de-escalation tactics. Like, mm -hmm. what are we gonna do to talk face-to-face -face and try and calm somebody down when they're in maybe an impaired state or they're just not in the right mental fitness to be on a plane. So how are we going to turn it from, you know, a situation like we saw to something maybe we can handle, but we're ready to defend the cabin no matter what. Yeah, you have to. And it's really, especially up there when you're flying at 30,000 feet, as opposed to down here on the ground, it could be a little different story. Yeah. It's easier to de-escalate. Hopefully you got to de-escalate. All right, Hawker Vanguard, thanks so much.